come to January 23rd, the first work day of the week, the day some people call the day of the sun or Sunday. Well, brother, this is the year 2010. So let's get right on over into the Lord Care Ministry, a year to keep your eyes on heaven, day 23 of the year 2010, the crown of glory. Again, brethren, for the new ones, I suggest you write the chapter and verse down on a pad and paper so you can go back and study the whole context out of your own Bible at your own leisure. You can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this video study as we go along so that you'll be able to read along with us. Well, with that, brethren, let's get right on over into the crown of glory. And to do that, we'll go to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 2 through 7. And we'll also pick it up in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 2 and 4. Now, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 4 in the NIV be shepherds of God's flock. And when the chief, chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory. We have all heard that the teachers and spiritual leaders will be judged by different measures than the rest of us. In James chapter 3 and verse 1 it says, James tells us, Not many of you should become teachers in the church. For we who teach will be judged by God with greater strictness. People are given the position of authority and leadership in the body of Christ, are expected to live as examples and mentors to those who are younger and weaker in their faith. God expects more from them and more from them, or more of them, because of this, they can also expect a greater measure of respect during, during their days on earth. In 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 17, Paul tells Timothy, Elders who do their work well should be paid well, especially those who work hard at both preaching and teaching. It makes sense then that on the day of salvation, such people will receive a special reward from Jesus. Those who are given great responsibility on earth and carried out their duties well will receive the crown of glory. Peter exhorts such people this way. First Peter chapter 5 verses 2 through 4. Care for the flock of God entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your good example. And when the head shepherd comes, your reward will be a never-ending share in his glory and honor. The reason we appoint certain people as elders and teachers is because that is what God wants them to be. They are his cho choosing, not ours. They are serving his church, not their own. They are examples of his love and goodness, not the world. They will be judged by God's standard, not ours. Being called to such a position is the greatest honor a person could ask for this side of heaven. And if done well, can lead to one of the greatest honors a person could ask for on the other side of it as well. As you read through Paul's list of desired character traits, for overseers. Think about how your life reflects these qualities. 
Do you have the traits God is looking for in a leader? If not, what would he have you do to prepare yourself for the greater responsibility? Psalms chapter 2 and verse 7 reads, God will declare him to be his son. And Psalms chapter 2 and verse 6, Thou art my son, this day I has begotten thee. The crowning day. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 4 reads, When the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. For you see, our Father right now is up in heaven, watching down on us, taking care of those who try to follow him. He knows there's a bunch that don't care. He would that everybody would follow him. But you know, he gave us choices to do this or not do it. So, brethren, if you decide not to follow Jesus Christ and go to the Son, well, brethren, then you will end up in Gehenna fire. And that's not a place you want to be. Follow Christ. Go to the kingdom. That kingdom is going to be here on earth. And it will be a glorious time for all being while you're there. Brethren, if you want to change and follow God, get down on your knees and repent. Ask for forgiveness for following the tradition of men. Start following God's way. Start following God's Sabbath. Start following God's holy days. And forget all the tradition of men and their holidays. Because the Lord says he won't even hear their music. Yes, I can show you that. But we'll leave that for another time. And while you're on your knees asking for forgiveness, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that the Lord has given you that is found in your own Bible. Yes, brethren, study it. His whole word, what he wants you to know and understand, is in your own Bible that you should have in front of you right now. With that, brethren, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.